This solder job is the previous one I did with my old XLX2. Okay, right here in this cheap little workstation, I wrapped some shrink wrap around the alligator clips and I double layered them. They grip really well. Okay, the soldering station you see in this video is a weller. The iron is a 60 watt and the station will handle up to an 80 watt. This is where I'm going to set the dial on the workstation to undo that large solder job from previously because it takes a lot more heat than doing a solder job that size, which I would put on this dial right here. So never leave your iron just sitting hot if you're not using it. This is why the workstation is good. You can turn this down. This is gonna extend the life of your tip. So now you wanna be sure that the way you're gonna solder the connectors onto the speed control are in the position that you want them to be at rest. You don't wanna accidentally solder it some other mixed way around to where it's never gonna stay straight and you have problem reaching your batteries to plug it in. So let's see here. This is negative, this is positive, and then this is positive, and this is negative. So we want the negative from the speed control to go here and the positive from the speed control to go here. Positive on this side, negative here. But we have this, so turn this over. We have positive on the left and negative on the right. Positive on the left, negative on the right. And this is the solder job from the factory, not me. This is how everybody receives their speed controls. So I'm not gonna put any shrink wrap on it because I have any dispute in the future. I don't even wanna like be a part, like the contribution to any variables that could be the cause, so let's just stay away from all that. Now, this will be positive goes here, we want it to be like this, okay? So we're gonna do it just like that. I don't want this wire to be twisted in any way because then it's gonna turn this over. The way there's no stress on here that it's just resting like that, that's exactly how I'm gonna solder it. So here we are, pretty much set up and ready to solder it. You don't want this wire coming at an angle downwards or any other way, you want it to be perfectly straight or else these caps, they're not gonna slide on. These caps don't have the best clearance. So if this wire is anything other than straight, the cap is gonna get, is gonna get stuck and it's not gonna wanna clip all the way out. Now, soldering, Soldering wires on for the first time is a lot easier than desoldering it because when you go to desolder, you have the most amount of solder all at once and you have the metal from the wires and the metal from the soldering point that are going to be pulling heat from the solder at the same time versus when you're soldering on like we're going to do now, adding solder to the soldering post, you're warming it up and then adding solder to the wire, you're warming it up separately and then when you go to soldering together, both of them are already preheated and it takes a lot less heat for everything to fuse together. melt the flux onto the wire and onto the soldering post and that's going to warm them up for me and then just soldering it's going to be very easy there this isn't warmed up until and this still needs more solder you see that these wires are frayed out they're separated they need more solder because when you go to solder this on the soldering post, you want it to be a pool of solder. You don't want it to be dry. So, adding the, the solder job, the wire is straight. It's not crooked, so I'm going in sideways. You got a nice full puddle, nice even flow. Now, these dark spots you see here, those are not impurities. Those are um, flux. Flux that was on the tip of the screwdriver when I used the screwdriver and held it down. That's what that is. So that comes off. We don't have impurities here. We prepped. I made a mistake. I didn't feed the power wire from the speed control through the other hole on the cap to close it. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo that and then we'll pick up where we left off for the black one. So here's the same soldering job second time around. This time I ran it through the little cap. And don't forget to always wipe your tip on a wet cotton, on a wet sponge. There are all the little impurities that developed. Locked in, no stress, no mess. Last one we're gonna do is the negative one. And remember we said we wanted it to go in just like this. So, I'm just going to set everything up like I did prior. I'm also going to run the wire through this connector end and let's go. So here's the negative wire. It's already done. It's been run through the clip. You have a nice wet pull. It's straight. 